And I think we're just gonna chat to the camera mills. We've been doing like nearly 20 minutes, babe. Okay, <laughs> Shall we just chat for a few more minutes and just say what we like about home ed and, and, and mm. stuff like that and, and just chat, yeah. And you can just take some time to find what your child actually enjoys doing. And Mum did not watch, Mum couldn't watch. All three of my children are completely different. Moulded us to fit into the work, we're sort of moulding the work to fit into us. Exactly, yeah. You can just take some time to find what your child actually enjoys doing. And Absolutely buzzing, weren't you? And just go on the trampoline or be able to just go outside if things are getting too much or... They can tune to your emotions within. Honestly, she spends hours. That there's not one right way. Like, you just have to give animals a chance. And... But it goes much further than that with you, doesn't it? I think something that works for Millie wouldn't necessarily have worked for the boys. Which yeah. is very not a thing for me to do. Yeah. But yeah, it was going to be a day in the life vlog, but I just think actually it's felt really natural to just chat with you guys. Yeah, I feel like this has been a good chat, Mills. Hello and welcome back to another Home Education Journey UK video. Video? Video? <laughs> it is Sunday the 6th of October and it's just gone midday. We've been up since about 8am. Alfie and Lee have gone to a car show. I'm not sure where. Is it the Santa Pod race track? Something like that. I might correct myself here. Really it's about an hour away. Because Dad was doing it. It's about an hour away. It's his birthday in four sleeps. He's going to be 17. I can't quite believe we're going to have a 17 year old. And I don't know where the past 17 years have gone. Literally blinked. And yeah, he's 17. And I know when you have a baby and people say, just, just be in the moment. Just enjoy the process because it'll go so fast and you're like yeah yeah okay and it really does it really does go that fast um yes he's gone there for the day i think there's japanese cars there which are his favorite sorts of car alfie absolutely loves cars but the japanese style are his favorite so they're going to be there until about eight nine o'clock tonight i think by the time they get home so like i said it's an hour away i can't quite believe it's sunday again i feel like the weeks at the minute are just flying by and Lee and I sat in bed this morning and we're going through syncing our calendars for next week and he was saying there's something he wanted to do at the weekend and I was and I was flicking through and I was like oh my god like, all of our Sundays are taken up in October and then it's November which is Ted's birthday in November and then Millie's birthday is during December and then it's Christmas so I just know now this time is just gonna whiz was by. Which is good for me because I'm, I'm looking forward to my birthday. You are, aren't you? And Christmas. It's all fun stuff, but I just know how and quick. Halloween. And Halloween and bonfire night. I'm really comfortable here. <laughs> I'll have a look at it in, in it with it. Have a look at it with you in a minute. So I just know, yeah, it's just gonna whiz by now. Crazy another Sunday. What have we done this week? We've had Alfie's birthday party with the family yesterday. They came round. We got all of our. Normally I make food or I put food in the oven and cook food and dish it up. And it's super stressful, whereas this time I said to Lee, should we just go to Costco? Because we brought his birthday cake from there last year. Since they were little, I've always baked their birthday cakes for their actual birthday. But then when we have a, a gathering with the family, I usually buy one to give out to the family and then save his special one for his actual birthday. So last year we went to Costco and we got a huge one. I think it served something like 40. So I said to Lee, when we were there, we saw all the different ones. So I said to Lee, should we just go and get some of the food from the deli there? Because they do all fresh food. So I pre-ordered that and I just ordered a, a box of 48 wraps, a box of 40, I think it was, veggie sandwiches, because the wraps are all chicken, and um, some mini cupcakes, which were delicious, a big box of salad. We grabbed a couple of crisps from Sainsbury's and then Alfie saw the red velvet cake on there, which he, it's his favorite sort of cake. So I ordered that for him and just stuck a little happy birthday car sign on there with, his candles I'll li I'll put some pictures in whilst I'm chatting about all of that so you can see the food it's such good value I think it came to 80 80 pound or 88 pound but there was 15 people and you if I was to put all the food on and his birthday cake it would come to roughly that anyway but you didn't I didn't have the faff so Lee and I went and picked that up on Friday afternoon I ordered it online a couple of days before you have to give 78 72 hours before and then yeah we picked it up on Friday and then I looked and the use by date is today, so you normally get a couple of days before it, it goes bad. And it was so worth it. The stress, the hassle free and the stress was so worth it to just get them out of the fridge, stick them out. And when everyone was here, just open them up. And everyone said how amazing 
the food was and I laughed and I said we well, might as well get used to it because we've got Ted's birthday beginning in November and Millie's in December and you guys all come around for that um, and this is looks like what we might be doing so I'm glad to get <coughs> Oh, I'm glad you all like it. So, yeah, that was a bonus. So we did that yesterday. What else have we done, Millie? What was it? Just maybe eat around that bit. What else have we done, Chick, this week? Oh, Lee and I have managed to go to the gym for four days. Absolutely loving it. So our free trial is up now. So we need to sign up to that later on today once Lee's back before we go to bed, ready for tomorrow. Disgusting. Because <laughs> the plan is we're going to do Monday to Friday, first thing in the morning before even the kids wake up and start their day. And I just feel like I've really started the day in a positive way and it gives me such a huge boost. I feel so good after doing it. It's one of those things where I'm like, why have I not done this sooner? And I know I wouldn't have been able to until this point because the children are only like older now and with Alpha being 17, I wouldn't leave Millie on her own, but because I was that bit older and Millie is self-sufficient now um, and all the rest of it, so it's not like alpha has got to babysit her, but he's just here in case she needs anything. And obviously Ted's nearly 15, so it's only really now Lee and I are able to do these things on our own and just have that bit of freedom to rediscover ourselves and what we enjoy and it's really nice it's like a new chapter of our lives and I'm really enjoying going to the gym so we're going to sign up and do that every week hopefully Monday to Friday Lee's not sure if he wants to do the five days yet but I really do because it gives me such a boost so if Lee doesn't want to I might go out during the day at some point and and do my other two two sessions what else have you been up to Milzo Pardon? what happened do you want to say or do you not want to say because of granny watching Cause granny the vlogs because granny watches the vlogs doesn't she and you I really want... want to say because of granny watching vlogs that's true yeah granny likes to watch all of these vlogs doesn't she and they're not coming to Polly till the end of the month so maybe we'll have to leave her for now and I but... think tell granny to get this bit mm. I don't know if she will know how to I am uh... it's up to you but they're not coming to the other month. But Millie's done something really amazing on Polly. Mum, no. I'm not going to say what. I'm just going to say she's done something really amazing with Polly. I'm not going to say what it is after you just told me not to. <laughs> I was just going to say Millie did something really amazing on Polly yesterday. But we're not going to go into detail. You're going to have to wait until November to find out what she's been doing. Mm, why do they come in? They're not coming to the end of October. That's what I'm saying. You've got to keep a secret for a long time. Can you manage that? No. Well, if you decide during this vlog that actually you can't wait, then we can tell them later. But if not, it'll be the end of October. So Millie did that yesterday anyway. So we had a really good day yesterday, a really positive day. Um, what have we done in the week other than that? We've had lots of good feedback again from various things where our videos are helping children overcome things or try things new or realise they've got a passion for something. And yeah, really lovely comments again. So that's, that's always awesome. I'm just sitting here anyway. I have been talking for seven minutes. <laughs> I always grab the camera and I'm like, got to do an intro. Not quite sure what I'm going to talk about. Let's just pick up the camera and go with it because those are the best sort of, if I have a script, then it's just not real life, is it? So I'm like, let's just grab the camera and see how we go. And I'm just, I just chat to you guys. Um, but I'm sat here now anyway. I've got a bit of this yummy cake I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to start doing... Um, next week's plan now me and Lee have synced to calendars I'm going to write my our family one down so the kids know where they are a bit Millie's just doing this hammer bead it's too hard yeah well you're attempting to aren't you sat and did this with dad yesterday didn't you whilst people were around and um, because it can sometimes get a bit much can't it when there's loads of people around so Mill sat and did this quietly well, it's dad really did it. well yeah that's what I was going to say you were going to sit and do it quietly but dad just got engrossed in it and you just sat next to him and watched and I just said to Mills, oh why don't you finish them that well dad's not here and you can show him later but it's a bit tricky, so I think I'm gonna have to help you with that in a minute. But it's just a, a oh. horse, hammer bead, but it's horses. How cool is that? I really wanna say what we did on point, but I have run into here. It's up to you, babe. You can ask her not to watch this one, if we know the date it's gone up. She probably won't watch it, but it's up to you. Or we can say, watch this one with us and we'll skip the bit. But mm. just have a think about it for a minute. Right, I'll but the, okay, hang on one second then. So these are really cool because it doesn't actually come with a horse head shape. It's just a hexagon, but it gives you the instructions on how to make them. And they go on, on the pen. So it's like the hobby horses, but miniature versions, isn't it? So that's awesome. Yeah, I'm just doing the plan for the week. Got a bit of this velvet cake, which is very naughty because as you guys know, I'm being super good at the minute. But it is so good. And it's my... Son's 17th birthday, so I should have some treats in the mills. <laughs> Got a cup of tea. Um, I think Millie wants to say. I think we're going to tell Granny not to watch this one. Are we going to? Is that what we're going to do? We can decide that later. So if you want to tell them. We should watch it with her. Tell them. 
We'll watch it with her because yeah. it's not going to go for a while. Yeah. So yesterday morning we went to Polly, and as a lot of you guys know, when we first started to part loan Polly, we didn't. Millie, we did, weren't even going for Millie to ride because we just wanted to go and look after a horse because she'd done riding lessons at a school but you get, as you guys know if you've done done it that way you get different horse every time and they really push you to and go did, faster they, and they do more and first, yeah second. and Millie was like I just don't like this I want to get to know a horse I want to care for the horse and going fast is just not what I want to do so when we, when we found Polly I said to the owner look she just wants to come up, she just wants to look after her, take her for a walk, like lead her around and that sort of thing. And then after, like, this, actually it was the actual day we went to look at her, you were like, actually I want to get on a rider. <laughs> so then she started riding with me, yeah, leading so, her. So we didn't want to ride her, but the, but the, the, um, <coughs> the owner said to ride her. Just try it and just see, it. yeah, with her there. And you decided you wanted to, didn't you? And there was another horse that we were alone, actually. We weren't going to mm. alone, pay, were we? But no. it didn't take much convincing for you to want to get on her. Not much at all. So then we spent months. I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't as scared as what I got on in the lot of riding school horses. Cause no. They seemed to be a lot bigger. And you spent more time fussing Polly and stuff, hadn't you, at the start? So you'd already started to get to know. Whereas with the riding school, it's very much like, here's your horse, get on, crack on. We've got 45 minutes. They need to get off again. So anyway, yeah, we've been doing for a couple of months. Then we were leading her around. I was leading her around on the lead rein, um, and then Millie's gradually been taken off that and doing it herself. And then no. We didn't, we didn't stop the lead room at all. Didn't we? The, the, the owner walked me around the lead room for about five minutes and I went off on my own. Really? And then, oh, lost, but you, and then asked for confidence. That's around. it, you lost your confidence and then we spent a bit of time me leading you mm -hmm. around, that's why I stand corrected. Um, it's been nearly a year now, so I'm sort of, it's a bit, months. yeah, it's a bit blurry. Um, and then the owner said, because look, Polly's got a bit of a stiff leg, it's nothing serious and she's had the vet out and stuff like that and it's just something she has to loosen up with but we needed to go a bit faster so you started going a bit faster, she came and showed you how to do it and then yesterday, Dad was there as well, wasn't Dad, he? Dad's, Dad kept wanting me to do this for like, since Dad first came up, oh, just put it on since Dad first came up Steady a couple of weeks ago, oh that hurts, since Dad first came up a couple of weeks ago, He's wanting me to do this. He kept kept asking me to do it on her. I was like, no, not yet. Um. Yeah, and but his dad, uh, dad Lee, has really surprised me because he's that he's not an animal person, but he's really confident around the horses, he and was I, like, I'm just not. So he's like giving her treats and stuff. Yeah, feeding her out of her hand and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, dad was there with us yesterday, wasn't he? And you, and do you want to tell what happened? Um. So dad came up to me and said, um, and he was like, oh, do you want to do trotting? Um, and I was like, no. And then he was like, hey, go on, give it a go. So I said, yeah, if you come with me, thinking that would be like, oh, never mind, it's fine then. <laughs> dad said, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so we went around. Mum did not watch. Mum couldn't watch. And then we started trotting on her for the first time. I thought I was going to fall off. Didn't fall off because I was holding on to the little, what is it, pommel or cantle? Not sure. Bit of a saddle, sure yeah. A bit of the saddle, and then I was like, literally, like I wasn't in the saddle. I was literally going like this. <laughs> so, and then you did it again, didn't you? I did it again. And I, I watched. I watched times. the second time. I did about five times on her. Yeah, and I watched right. it the second time. Oh, I'm just a bit nervous when it comes to horses, which is something I just try and hide because obviously it's irrational. There's no reason to be. I've got no reason to be, and Millie clearly has a passion so I just looked away so she could get on with it and it was a very spur of the moment thing wasn't it and I think with us we're quite planned aren't we so <laughs> if we're going to do something different we sort of discuss it and then we discuss it some more and then we discuss it some more and then we just don't want to do it because then it's like and then you get anxious and we get a bit anxious about things don't we so it was really nice actually yesterday that it was just a complete spur of the moment shall we just trot I mean it was like shall we you're going to run next to me and he was like yeah and like, okay and then they just did it like, within a couple of couple seconds. seconds. And you were absolutely buzzing, weren't you? And that, that was like, oh, let's go to the centre line, I've got that. If we got to the centre line, she's going to start canting. She gets really excited at the centre line. And I think Polly was a bit like, whoa, Millie's on me and she's asking me to go faster. This is new, because I think she knows then, with you, doesn't she? And then I stopped. And then I, and then I like, got all the battery. It's a while, I'll change it. And then I got her to start walking on again and she had it is but she was ready to go again she was like let's go she loved it didn't she <laughs> she did and you told the owner after because the owner was up there and she was really proud of you wasn't she and i'm so proud of you because just the difference polly is the best thing we've done for millie mm. we've tried looked for one for a long time and it's by it's far so confident it re she really has 
if you're thinking about doing something like that, I really suggest if your child you is... stop whenever. Yeah, like horses and stuff, I really suggest it. The difference it's made in Millie is huge. And I was saying that to Lee yesterday when Millie was just going off and leading around. I was like, this is the best thing we could have done for Millie right now. And it's I mean, made a massive difference, hasn't it? You buy me one. <laughs> It'd be the best thing ever. I want to leave Polly now, though. No, you love Polly, don't you? You're like, hang on, I'm just going to quickly... Um, change this. There you are, new battery. Yeah, you wouldn't want to leave Polly now, would you? Because I did my first tack on her and stuff within like the first couple of months. About the first month, I think it was. Mm. It started in February. In February. Um, but literally, because I'm quite shy, and I don't really like talking to new people. But um, the owner was like, "Oh, do you want to come? Do you want to come and?" The owner was like, "Oh, do you want to come put Polly in the field?" Um, and then I would just started walking without mum. Which yeah. is very not a thing for me to do. Yeah. You're quite timid, aren't you, in a lot of ways? And it's not about labelling or saying this is who you are or whatever. But when Millie's with animals and with Polly, she is like a completely different person. It's so beautiful to see. And clearly, animals are your massive passion, aren't they? And you just sort of... I don't know. They're more to you, aren't they, than what they are to mm. me. They're... They Not mean, just animals. No, they mean so much more to you. Mm. Like little... Because every, literally, literally every horse has different personality, doesn't it? Yeah. And I said, me and Dad said that, God, I think we really underestimated horses, actually. Watching them yesterday, <laughs> and like, you were doing very... <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. And then you were saying how they've got, like, a bone in the tail and all sorts of stuff that I didn't realise. And they're just like big dogs, really. They're so clever, mm. and I... Yeah, I definitely really underestimated them, but Millie definitely feels like you almost feel like the animal's feelings, don't you? I feel everyone's feelings. You do, you do feel everyone's next. feelings, but next. no, it's mm. not, is it? You have to try and protect yourself a bit, don't you, with that, because you definitely are very, very, very empathetic to other people's feelings. But it's like with like the dogs and chickens, like they're like their own little people because literally they all have their own little personalities. Hmm. I think. Like, you just have to give animals a chance, and then you can literally just see all their personality, I think. Because mm. with Polly, I was like, oh, she doesn't have a personality at first. She was just, because we're going to go, can we say the horse that we're going to go to get? Yeah. We're going to go get, um, like a, what was it called, ski board cob. It's like a brown ski board cob called Cookie, and he's, he's really cute. He is cute. He's really cute. He's got, like, such a big personality and stuff. By the same lady. By the same lady. Um, and... I went to put him at, I went, we were like walking him up and down because obviously this is the first time he came and I was walking up and down and he um, buckled my knee and tried to run away with me. He's a bit bouncy, he's isn't he? Bit he's, he's, he's got a really good personality. Yeah. And like, I absolutely love him. Yeah. Like I would loan both of him if I could. Um, but Cookie's just a bit more, not standoffish, he's a bit like... I just think he's more strong-willed, isn't he? A bit more... He's stronger as well. Alert, I think. <laughs> Pilly's not... Pilly. Pilly. Pilly's not Pilly. alert. Polly, it's a mixture of Molly, Polly and Millie. Um, Polly isn't very alert. Not alert, but she's very chilled and a bit aloof and a bit sleepy. Just do whatever you want with But uh, that works really well for you. But it took you a bit longer, didn't it, for you to unpick her personality, I suppose, I with Cookie. I think you just started clicking with her. Yeah, you really have. It's really, really beautiful to watch your sort of relationship, but... I know horses are like your passion, but it goes much further than that with you, doesn't it? I think like even the Actually, ducks and the move. chickens, mm -hmm. uh, all animals. It's the way that horses move, it's just so like beautiful. Yeah. But you connect with all animals, I think, don't you? On a different level to what, because yeah, I love animals. Fish. Like my fish, I mean fish to me. Yeah. I like seeing as people. Mm. You feel their feelings mm -hmm. and... You yeah. want to treat them like an equal, don't you? I think mm. that's a big thing. You don't see them as, like, oh, that's just an animal to you. Like, they're all just equal, aren't they? And I love animals, and I always have. But it, it, it's not to the extent that um, Millie loves animals. And that's why we have so many pets. And that's why Home Ed's brilliant, because we can just completely adapt it. And Millie spends so much time with the animals. Um, and I think that makes you a happier the person, doesn't well. it? Yeah. yeah. The dogs. It makes you a happier person. I think if you're at school all day, every day, and not around your animals, and not able to go up to Polly mm. twice a week, and just lie on the floor with the dogs when you want to lie on the floor with the dogs, and go out to the chicken coop when you want to be the chickens, and you got the guinea pig in your bedroom who you chat to and play with. If you didn't have all of that, it's like a guinea pig. Like she, like she just looks like a little bit fast. But like when you start talking, it sounds weird. But once I started talking to her, she's like a little person. It's really weird. Yeah. I'm. Can I show them what I taught Ozzy? Yeah. 
but also with us like for home ed it means that we can do a bit of structured learning a bit of sit down learning and then when she's had enough and she wants to go and interact with the animals she can just go and do that and then come back and then carry on doing a bit of work and spread the day out like that rather than it being you've got to sit and you've got to do Aussie. six hours isn't it at school full of work and yeah it just works really really well for us um, and the animal side thing and i've just looked at how long we've actually been recording i think we're just going to chat to the camera mills we're doing like nearly 20 minutes babe Okay, Shall we just chat yeah, we just for a few chat. more minutes and just say what we like about home ed and and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that and, and just chat? Yeah, Thank Millie. You know. Yeah, Millie wants to quickly show you. You might have to bring your man here, chick, because I can't. Oh, that's a horrible sound. Bring your man here, babe. Millie just wants to show you what she's been teaching again, Ozzy, trick wise, which she spends a lot of time doing. So, as you see, come back, come back. Mm -hmm. Get the Buddhas. Ozzy, stand up. Come on. <laughs> I like to teach them, him, them all by myself as well. Ozzie. You do do it all by yourself. Stand up. Little wings. <laughs> He's so pretty. Ozzy, stand up. Come on. 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 So yeah, that's a big part of our home ed. If you were in school, you wouldn't get all of this, would you? I know she'd get after school, but at her age now, I know how much homework she'd be doing. Look. Boom. Sit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You can <laughs> She's so little, isn't she? She's so little. She's such a little lady. Right, Mills, what else do you like about home ed, babe? Look at him. Look at him. We've lost you now, haven't we? This is what I mean. But Sorry. we can just go with it, can't um, we? I don't know. I think probably like... I don't know. It's like, I feel like if we didn't have animals, I'd be a potato. You'd be a potato. So I've been asking, so we went to this thing, didn't we? Um, where was it? That horse thing. Hang on, I'm sitting over here to get my trees. Um, that horse thing. And um, you remember that horse we went to? And it was like non... non like we went to so many pony clubs. We went to so... Like we went to we like tried lots of stuff, pony. didn't we? Not to. <laughs> that sounds real. We went to two pony clubs, guys. No, but it was like, they're all like sit down work and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, when am I going to see the pony sort of thing? You're more hands on on the go, aren't you, with things? Definitely. Like, and that's why I think you like your crafts and showing Aussie and being with the animals because it's more seeing the progress, isn't it? Rather than sitting and doing written work, which we don't really do much of, but that works for you and that's okay, isn't it? I feel like I learn best through animals as well. Yeah. Like, uh, what do you mean? What were you going to say? What do you mean? I was going to say, what do you mean by you'd be a potato? Like, you mean you'd feel. Because I've been asking so long, like, uh, uh, with the pony club stuff, we went to this pony club and I could lead a horse. And they were, they were moved, didn't they? They've moved now. And literally, I remember I was sat on the sofa begging mum, like crying so much. I was like, oh, can you please just get me a lone pony? Because since I've been like at like four, I've been asking for a horse. Yeah, and it, it's definitely. And then we got Polly, and then I feel like I've, I've and my math got better after we got Polly. Yeah, so you focus more better. now, yeah. don't you? You do focus more, and I think it's because you can have that sort of out, I think she can have that sort of out outlet of being with the animals. And doing the things she loves and then being able to focus her mind a little bit then to do the maths and English sit down book work that we do and then go back out to the animals when she needs to go back out to the animals and I think I think you'd struggle without that so again just because you said you'd be a potato without all your animals what do you sort of mean you'd just be bored Look, if we didn't have dogs then you could just walk around the house like little people then you can just interact with them Whenever you want to but throughout the day. Even when I'm like, um, doing my work, if I just like stroke through with my toes and stuff, it's really relaxing. Mm. Because like, when you have a dog, literally, they can tune to your emotions within two sec 20 seconds of seeing you. Mm. And horses can, situations from 20 metres away, it's ridiculous, 10 metres away, sorry. So like, I think,
You definitely focus better, yeah, when we have to really sit down and be like, okay, let's just focus ourselves. So I know that I can do something afterwards. Yeah, or if it gets like on board, then you will just sometimes just go and just stroke the dog or whatever, won't you? And it really helps. I was doing a lesson once. I was in a geography lesson. On the two bedroom hub. Oh, that was when you were trying and the just, online lessons. I just started hopping what's around the island. You and did. Was like, and was like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm, I'm just listening to it. Yeah, you like, didn't. Because I listen and do stuff. Yeah. but I'm just sat there like this, looking at something, and I'm like... Which is why I think, isn't it, sometimes with you now, like when we're doing something, like when you do your theatre of science, you'll colour in or you'll do something, yeah. just keep your hands busy whilst you're doing it. And you're allowed to do that because it, there's no right or wrong way in home ed of learning. So I'm not going to say to her, stop fidgeting, stop doing that. She clearly needs to have her hands busy while she's taking the information. But yeah, she was going around the island on a hobby horse and I was like, Mills, you're not doing geography anymore. And we quickly realised that the £2 tuition hub structured live lessons just wasn't going to work for Millie anyway. Um, but obviously we still do some structured learning and that's the maths and English book work. We put, like I said, we literally just do a page a time and, and if we can't even do that, then we just put it down and, and do it a bit later after she's had a bit of time with the animals or creating or anything keeping herself busy. She's definitely someone who wants to see progress rather than just sit and write pages yeah. and pages of, of book work. Just wouldn't be right for her. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but with a theatre of science, you really, really enjoy her. I mean, she's super engaging, and she, but, well. and she does crafts and things, but you still tend to, like, want to doodle or do something yeah. alongside while she's listening, don't you? Yeah. Unless it's or a... Well, yeah. Really or fit, yeah, do you um, change, put that, the tack on your um, toy ponies while she's listening? And, and it's just adapting, really, isn't it? And this is why home ed works so well for us, because we can just find a way that works and like I've said before something that works for Millie wouldn't necessarily have worked for the boys and the same with your children wouldn't necessarily work for your children but there might be something in our videos that you think hmm, actually Millie seems very similar or that sounds familiar oh, I'm going to try that and see if that works and there's no right or wrong way of doing anything with home ed yes darling something that I also really want to do as well is sit in Polly's field or sit in Polly's stable or something yeah. And do some sort of work in there. That'd be cool, wouldn't I feel it? Like I'd do stuff quite well there. If I just had Polly's like stroking stuff. Alongside you. Mm -hmm. We'll have to have a look at doing that, won't we? We'll have to ask her owner. Because yeah. we said, um, we did say about doing that one. She went on holiday. Yeah, but we never got around to it, did we? But that's something I want to do. Mm. That's something I really want to do. We'll have to look at that, won't we? Come. Definitely. Go oh, man! He's so clever. <laughs> I just had a quick, sneaky stop and had a bit of the cake because it's delicious and I was just saying to Mills, what else do you think works really well for home ed for you? And another thing she's just said while well, she's still training the dogs is um, being able to just go for a walk or being able to just go on the trampoline or be able to just go outside if things are getting too much or it's like also she's getting fidgety and also spending lots of time in nature and this is why we're doing the um, learning um, Exploring nature with children this year because being outside massively helps me. What were you going to say, Jake? Like, we went on the trampoline and just did like a, a drawing on the trampoline because we can literally just go outside. I'm not, we've done a lot of stuff. Just at normal, by the way, it's having a bit of a minute. Um, there's been a couple of times where we've gone outside and we've just looked at something or a straw and we just sit down and sit down and draw it. Or like doing like, I don't know, like doing like, you can go outside and walk. And just like make a pose or something you can see. Cause sitting no, outside's boring. Yeah. It's it's boring. We but we do sometimes as well, because being around lots of people can be too much. And sometimes we do just need in chill days, don't we? Where we're like, we don't want to see anyone. We just wanna have downtime, snuggle on the sofa, watch telly, just be on your iPad, just chill. And it's having the the freedom to be able to and the flexibility to be able to do that as well. But yeah, being inside in a classroom all the time I think just isn't wouldn't be beneficial to Millie for, for lots and lots of reasons. Mills, you also prefer as well, don't you, doing topic work yeah. rather than... Yeah, same thing. Yeah, what is it's it like, about topic work you think that you enjoy doing more or seasonal work? It's not like, right, we're going to sit down this time, we're going to do this, and you sit here for the whole hour, and you sit here and do it, and then you have some hours after, straight after it. So with topic work, it's like, you, you're done when, you, when you've you done it. You don't have to sit there for two hours, or even if it takes you like two and a half hours, or if it takes you an hour and a half, it doesn't take as long as like being having a set time. You know, like, you're gonna sit here for two hours, and, and then you're that bit. Yeah. And then you can do some straight Like it's like with top of work, it's like it takes as long as it takes. Like, it just takes days and days, and we just pick up and do little bits here and there. Yeah. Yeah, and we can incorporate like crafts 
and a little bit of writing into then the topic work, aren't we? Keeps it more interesting, doesn't it, as well? And like seasonal work and doing autumn crafts and Christmas crafts and, and then just sneaking in that little bit of maths and English book work. <laughs> or like I said, with the last book that was sent to the to Twinkle um, was sent by Twinkle, sneaking in those bits of history and geography without really realising you're sitting down and doing history and geography. Yeah, I feel like this has been a good chat, Mills. Do I? I might, I might upload it to the laptop and see how long it is, yeah. and see if there's anything else we can chat about. Put in. Well, it's just a chatty one anyway, so I think we can just say don't watch the chatty one. Yeah. Rather than us, it's not really a day in the life. Now it was going to be a day in the life. Yeah, but. Pardon? The apples, the apples called Dave. Dave. So I want you to label this. I want you to title this. Sit down chatting with Dave. The apple. <laughs> Sit down and chat with us and Dave the apple. We'll add yeah. that in. <laughs> but yeah, it was going to be a day in the life vlog, but I just think actually it's felt really natural to just chat with you guys. And it's probably been good for you guys just to get Millie's perspective on home ed and what works for us and that anything's okay, isn't it? Yeah. And, and I definitely recommend like having some sort of... Because literally... Why would you do that then? Because <laughs> um, every week I look forward to going to Polly. You do, don't you? Like, it's something that's like, well, in like two days I'll get to go to Polly, and then like, it's like, you can count down to it. Running with your passions, isn't it? Mm. It's seeing what what's really sparks fire inside each child and just trying to find a way. It's not always that easy, and we've had to wait a long time to get Polly, but even when we didn't have Polly, we were trying to find ways to go to various things for an hour, so she still had that bit of interaction with horses. And we used Seven to go. Years, probably, I've been waiting for Polly, haven't I? Yeah, but we used to also go to a lot of children's farms where there was horses, and Mills would just sit, stand at the fence, and stroke, and, stroke and, and chat. I felt down when I had to leave them. Yeah, but stroke and chat to the horses for hours, and we just just let her. And so she was still getting her outlet there. So I'm not here saying, oh, if your child likes a horse, you need to go and get a lone pony because it's a big commitment, right? And and we were lucky with the price Polly was. I know a lot of them are more expensive. We really did drop on with, with Polly and she more just wanted someone to spend that extra time rather than be getting loads of money out of us. So we are lucky and we do know that. But my point I think is just actually even going to a children's farm or going for a walk actually. We found some horses on a walk, didn't we as well? Um, then we started chatting to the owner and she was walk, like, we'll yeah. Walk around, shit pony. But yeah, so you found, and there was one local that we were just walking through the fields and the woman, the owner happened to be in the field and she's like, oh, come in if you want. Hop over the fence and come and say hi. So it's just, I think, trying to just surround yourself, isn't it, with the things that just give the kids that, that sort of boost. And yeah, it's, uh, it's great for you, isn't it, chick? Yeah. I feel like at the minute we've got into quite a good flow oh. of home ed. And um, to bed at good time as well. Yeah. Home ed and craft a little bit of structured learning, lots of animal time, lots of hobby horsing, lots of hobby horse making, <laughs> um, but it's taken us quite a while. Settled I don't know, yeah, I think you've all, all, we've always enjoyed home ed, but I think my point is it's changed and it always changed. Like if I was to look at the first YouTube videos, I know they're probably a lot different to what these ones now are, but that is because we are just picking up the camera and I am just showing you actually what Millie is doing and, and, and it's enough for us and it's okay and Millie is flourishing and a lot of you will comment and say Millie's really like, um, yeah, flourishing with home ed and, and, and she really is and the boys as well, like we do, they do do structured learning um, and the confidence they've got now and the confidence Alf has got that he didn't have when he was in school but he does work better with a bit more structure and online learning and, and the same with Ted, Ted likes his gadgets and he wants to sit at a computer and do a lot of his work that way and they're all completely different. All three of my children are completely different and I think that's a lot to do with home ed and the fact that they've been allowed to just do what works for them. I think it's also sort of like instead of moulding us to fit into the work, we're sort of moulding the work to fit into us. Exactly, of yeah, what works for you guys and uh, quite a few people always say, oh your children are all amazing and they're all individual and they're all so different. And it's because they haven't got that mould, I think, to have to fit into that they would have if they'd continued in mainstream. And obviously Millie was only um, there for a few months, anymore. whereas the Alfie was there till year five and Ted was there till year three. So there was obviously more of an impact on them so than, school, than what there is with Millie. Pardon? Some people enjoy school. Absolutely, well. yeah. Isn't like... No, I'm just talking from a home ed point of view because our vlog is about home ed, but yeah. some kids do flourish in school. Some people absolutely love being in that system and love having the structure of, right, I'm going to be doing six, six lessons today and then I'm going to come home and do my homework and then I know I've got my free time absolutely some kids do flourish and this isn't me saying school's bad because it's it's not and it does work for a lot of children and that's absolutely fine 
I'm just talking from a home ed point of view for those that are watching who are interested in home ed and or wonder if they're doing it right. Um, just sort of. I think it was a way to do it right. No, and that's the point I'm making, yeah. Um, but like school wouldn't work for you and that's not necessarily about the system. That's about it not suiting everyone and that's and that's okay. And I think a big thing for me is that when I did, I didn't know it was an option when Alfie and Ted were starting school and Millie starting school. I didn't even know it was an option. There's nothing on the forms when you go to select which school you want your child to go to that says tick home ed. There's none of that. And that's why I started this channel because I wanted to spread the awareness. And I know now after COVID it is more, oh, we can actually home, home educate our children, but it wasn't, I didn't know it was an option until Alfie got his autism diagnosis when he was in year five. And then we really started to realize actually the school system wasn't working for him or giving him what he needed fully uh, and then we saw home ed as an option and we watched that ted talk by sir ken robinson which i'll link down below i know i've mentioned him before but that was a massive game changer for us about school kills creativity um and i was like actually there's a lot of stuff he says that makes a lot of sense and for the way alfie was in school and where his struggles were um, and i do wish that i would taken alfie particularly because Ted was doing okay in school and he probably would have been okay in school and would have been one of the kids that probably would have, other than the paper side of things, he probably would have flourished in school, but he's flourishing now and being able to spend so much more time on his gadgets and his computer and his coding, whereas Alfie spent a long time struggling in school um, and it's been quite damaging for him in a lot of ways, which I'm not going to go into because it's obviously very personal, but yeah, it's just knowing there's an option and that there's not one right way of doing home ed. You can just take them out and you can just start with a little bit of structured learning. You can just take some time to find what your child actually enjoys doing and where their strengths are. Because that took us a long time as well at the start. We were trying to find out what their strengths were and what their passions were. And it takes time, doesn't it, right? And with, me, with Ted, I suppose, it was much clearer quite early on that he was very gadgety and then um yeah alfie with his plants having all the allotment and having time to do that yeah it's just it's it's amazing and yeah i wouldn't change it for the world and i just want everyone else to know that it is an option and it's not always easy and we don't always know what we're doing and we do change it up as we go and like i said if you look at the ones from six years ago to now it is different but the kids are flourishing and they're happy and to me their mental health is good and, and that's that's the main thing right um yeah i think we've been speaking for long enough chick I think so. I reckon. Should, I think we've do done about 30 minutes. We should do we a Q&A. Do, do you want to do a Q&A? I think we should do a Q&A. Ozzy's looking at me too. What, should we ask people to send yeah. questions yeah. to you? To, no, to... Me and you. Yeah. Well, to, to you, because you're in the channel. But and you, because then it's me, from yeah. a lot of point of view. Yeah. So if people fancy a Q&A from Millie and I, if you want to send us emails or comments on any of the... <laughs> any of the videos we get i'm getting better at replying to all the comments as well i am trying to keep up with that as well as uploading every three days and um, but yeah if you guys fancy a q a and you have any questions that you want to ask millie or me um yeah maybe we'll get a load of them together and in the near future we'll do a q a because it's quite nice to just do a talking oh, do one a sometimes we do it's lots easy we do lots of day in the lives don't we yeah we do a lot um, of so lives. i think this will be quite nice to throw in a random chat with us about home ed and animals and it's gonna get boring at some point all the fun day Reckon. What for you? Or for oh, the viewers? I think people like seeing what we do to be fair because it's just real life, isn't it? Oh my goodness gracious me. You right? Don't fall off. Don't yeah. fall off. Oh, right, Milzo, I think we're going to end it. We've been chatting. We're going to get on what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Going to do, got to wrap up Alfie's birthday presents. And you're going to do this hammer bead hobby horse thing. That's going quite 11 minutes. I know, long time. I think this is going to be quite long, but it is what it is. We'll just upload it and those that are still with us. Well done if you're still with us and you've yes. enjoyed our talking one. Let us know if you've enjoyed the talking yeah. one. Um, I'm sure we'll see by if we get likes or whatever, but... Q&A. A month. We could do a community post on our channel. Oh, and ask for some and QA questions. And ask for QA. Q&A. Q and A. Question and answers. Question and answers. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, question Right, let's end this vlog. I'm going to go and finish this cake and this tea because I'm going to have to warm my tea up in the microwave for the third time now. <laughs> right. I haven't ate all your cake. No, I'm going to eat it now. Look, look at how much you haven't ate. Look at oh, that. I've still got lots left. Right, Millie, you want to end this vlog? As always, thank you for watching. And we will see you all in the next one. Why are we both holding it? <laughs> so we can both hold it. We'll see you all in the next one, probably for, <laughs> probably for a day in the life. We'll do a day yeah. in the life one next time. Right, as always, thank you for watching. And we'll see you all again really, really soon. Uh, we will see you in, in the next one. And let us know if you want a Q&A as well. Yeah. yeah.
Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>